What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving an update on Jasmine. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. So Jasmine is currently trading at a price point of just over three tenths of a penny. It has a market cap of 161 million, which ranks 152nd among all cryptocurrencies. And then it has a circulating supply of 48.9 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion, which is about 97.8% in circulation. And I will say this has always been one of the bigger reasons I've been bullish on Jasmine. There will be basically no dilution. That being said, you also need to understand that Jasmine getting back to its all-time high of $4.99 is extremely unlikely. I've covered this in several of my previous Jasmine videos. You got to realize if Jasmine was to get back to this all-time high, it would have to reach a market cap higher than what Ethereum is currently at, which is around 200 billion. Hence why I'm saying it's extremely unlikely. But that also doesn't mean Jasmine can't make some very nice gains. And if you're looking to invest in Jasmine, I recommend using Binance, Coinbase, or KuCoin. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. Now, the first major news that I want to cover has nothing to do with Jasmine, but it's very important for all of crypto. So watch your guru post at October 3rd. Judge rejects SEC motion to appeal Ripple XRP ruling. So it is official. XRP is not a security. Again, does that directly affect Jasmine? No, not necessarily. But at the current moment, XRP is the third to fourth largest cryptocurrency, not counting stable coins. So when a crypto of that magnitude gets bullish news, it's naturally going to install confidence within the entire crypto market. That's just the reality of the situation. And then the other major news that's been going on in crypto revolves around Sam Bankman-Fried. So Watcher Guru posted 20 hours ago, US government says Sam Bankman-Fried's crypto empire was a house of cards built on a lie. And they said that in their opening trial statement. Now, in my opinion, there are two ways that you can look at this. You can either view this in a negative light as Sam Bankman-Fried was once a major face in crypto and he's destroyed the confidence of a lot of crypto investors. Or option number two, how I prefer to look at it and say that we have now gotten a bad actor out of the crypto space. Now, there are always going to be bad actors in every aspect of life, whether it's crypto, the stock market, sports, literally anything. But the point I'm getting at is a clear bad actor has had his power revoked from crypto. So I actually tend to think this is very good news, but everyone perceives things in different ways. But now we'll go over some recent Jasmine news. So if you come over to their Twitter, which has 100,000 followers, they just reposted September 29th, seven compelling reasons to integrate Jasmine payments into your business model. So their first reason is enhancing data sovereignty. Aligning your business with a platform that empowers users with control over their data can significantly enhance customer trust. And I've been saying for a very long time, one of the reasons I respect Jasmine as a project is because of their data locker technology. I think the whole idea of that technology could be revolutionary, giving people like you and I the opportunity to make money off of our own data, which you currently cannot do. And then their second reason is leveraging blockchain security. Their third reason is participating in trustless data exchange. Fourth reason is monetizing data securely. Fifth reason is adopting decentralized data storage. Sixth reason is contributing to the democratization of data. And last but not least, their final reason is gaining a competitive advantage. In a market where consumer concerns about data protection are growing, accepting Jasmine can attract privacy conscious customers and help businesses stand out in the respective industries. I have to admit, it's very promising seeing articles talking about the benefits of accepting Jasmine as payment. Now, last but not least, we'll go over some technical analysis. So this is Jasmine on the daily time frame. Now, what's very interesting about Jasmine is it has completely fallen beneath this high volume note on the VRVP. I got to be honest, that's not a very good sign. Now, on a more positive note, you could argue that Jasmine is forming a falling wedge, which break up 68% of the time, and it has a measure move up to that 0 0.0035 level. And the RSI and the stochastics are both getting very oversold, which could also indicate that we might get a bounce. And then last but not least, you could also argue that Jasmine is in a double bottom. It just depends whether or not you want to count the previous wick. But overall, other than the VRVP, Jasmine does not look too bad on the daily time frame. And you do have to keep in mind, Jasmine is only up 20% from its all-time low. So the reality of Jasmine is it has gotten absolutely decimated. If you believe in this project long-term, it might not be a bad time for you to start dollar-cost averaging in. But obviously, that's not financial advice.
Now, last but not least, we'll also go over Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. Now, for those of you guys that watch my content daily, you know we absolutely nailed Bitcoin. We drew it in the bull flag and then it broke out almost perfectly to the measured move. And had you guys taken that trade, you could have made about 10% in five days. And I understand 10% might not sound like a lot, but if you put things in perspective and compare it to the average return on the stock market, which is 10% in a year, those are actually pretty solid gains, especially for the largest market cap crypto. Now, as for what I'm seeing right now, Bitcoin has heavy resistance at 28,000. It has been rejected off of 28,000 three times in the last five or six months. And I will say, when it was trading at $28,000, it was right in the middle of two major high volume nodes on the VRVP. And typically what you'll see happen is price action will either come up to about 29,100 or down to about 27,200. Think of the high volume nodes as a price action magnet. Now at the current moment, the RSI and the stochastics are both very overbought. And given that we can't close a candle above 28,000, I'm expecting a little bit of downside in the short term. Now the question is how much? And this is where things start to get really interesting. So as most of you guys know, I call this initial drop on August 17th. The reason for that is the 21 day moving average broke beneath the 50 day moving moving average, which created a death cross. Now, if you look at the current moving averages, the 21 day has broken above the 50 day moving average, which is a golden cross. Typically that signals an explosive move is coming for Bitcoin. So a possible scenario is that price action comes down, bounces off the 21 day moving average as support, where we then could have another attempt to close a candle above 28,000. But I am gonna stick to my guns. I've been saying this in all of my videos. I will not be bullish on Bitcoin in the short term until it closes a candle above 28,000 $500 and it got rejected off those levels a couple days ago. Now, as I say in every single one of my videos, it is critical that you understand macroeconomic significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if all of a sudden the BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF were to get approved, then technical analysis goes right out the window as that could skyrocket Bitcoin, Jasmine, the entire crypto market. On the contrary, if it gets rejected or some extremely bearish news comes out, that could tank the entire crypto market. So just understand crypto is extremely volatile. Anything can happen in the short term or the long term for that matter but that's about all let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think jasmine could go next bull run if you found this content valuable please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day